Aloha, Rich Alverson here. Uh, this is ITS 148, and uh, today we're gonna um, uh, we're gonna uh, this is the third week. We're, we're gonna see what's up for the third week. Let me share my screen. Nine point six. Oh boy, this one another <laughs> sorting TV shows. Okay, so. Um, <clears throat> Okay, write a program that first reads in the name of an input file and then reads the input file using the file.readlines method. The input file contains an unsorted list of number, a list of number of seasons followed by the TV show. Your program should put the contents of the input into a dictionary uh, where the number of seasons are the keys and the TV shows are the values. That's interesting. Since multiple shows could have the same number of seasons. Yes, okay, right. Sort the dictionary by the key and then output the results to a file called outputkeys.txt. Separate uh, multiple sh TV shows associated with the same key. Okay, so, uh, this is a, this is a, this is an interesting one. Um, so I'm gonna um, I'm gonna write this program using the uh, Python that's built that that you can install on your computer by going to python.org I think python.org and you can uh, download this onto your computer. Uh, you can even download. Uh, if you can even uh, download Pythonista for your iPad if you want to, but I think that costs ten bucks. But anyway, uh, so so I've installed it on my computer, and I'm going to use that just so it's I I this is 148, so I really need to show you how if you want to use Python for uh, things, you know, when this class is over, you know, you, from your computer you can write code to go off and grab a web page and and you know do some string processing on it and and screen scrape information off of it just like how i'm going to do here and because because here we're actually interacting with the file or reading and writing i think i will um i think i'll uh, this is going to be a pretty long lab but we have 15 minutes okay so um so first of all i'm going to go to uh cmd command line prompt <clears throat> and I want to go to my um, I want to go to my OneDrive and then what is oops, what's here on oh, my desktop what do I have here I don't have anything here okay so I'm going to make a directory called um, uh, ITS 148 on my desktop and I'm going to go into it. Okay, here we are. And I'm going to um, um, let's see what happens when I type Python. Okay, it's Python 3.95. And this is the command prompt kind of Python and print hello. Nice, okay. Uh, all right, uh, and so uh, I'm gonna uh, download these things. I'm gonna download this to my, put that in, oh, let's see what this is. File.txt, and if I go to my desktop, what happens if I just, can I just drag this to my desktop? Okay, and I can drag this into my 148. And now when I go here, um, dir, there's my file.txt. How do you, is it type? Yeah, okay, so that's the file. Nice file. Uh, let's see, so now I'm gonna open up an editor and I'm gonna, maybe I'll use this notepad. 
Um, no, I don't need a new version of it. Here's Notepad. And uh, so it doesn't give us anything to start with, does it? Wow. Okay. So I guess, first of all, I got to read in a file name. Okay. So a uh, file name equals input. And I'm going to uh, have a enter input file. And, uh, and then I'm going to, um, I'm just going to say print. Enter input file, and I'm going to save it right now because I want to take advantage of the highlighting that. Um, so save as, and I want to save it on my desktop inside here, and I'm just going to call it um, main.py. Okay, so. Um, so first I'm gonna uh, get rid of this. Uh, and I can, let me put this down here for the moment. So it reads it in and then I got, um, there's gonna be an output file. Okay, I gotta make sure I do this right. Um, so there's a file, I have a file name and then I'm gonna um, open, don't, there's no. I guess it's all built in, huh? Uh, user, user file equals open. And then um, don't I have to import anything at the top? Do you know? Did you do this one? I I did it, but I I used the just the input prompt, and then I just renamed the file, open file name, and then did the lines read lines thing. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. I get these. I guess I get these languages mixed up. Open uh, and then um, do I just put file in here? I think that's all I have to do. This my key, this thing says something different, but uh, and then um, that's going to open the file name, and then I'm going to do uh, and uh, I wonder why it says I wonder why we're calling it output list. I'm just going to call it input list equals user file uh, dot read lines. Okay, and that so that will read them into a list. And uh, and what I'm going to do right now is um, for index in the range of the length of the output list for that list i am just going to want to print um i'm sorry this is a good list Print input list of index. Okay, I just want to uh, 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 run this to see if, see if this works. So this just this should just read in the file and uh, and and print it out. Right, that's all it should do. So let me save this, and uh, then I'm going to run it. So I'm going to say uh, I'm going to run it. Uh, Python um, 
my main dot py input file file one dot txt and look there it is and it prints it puts an extra space in between uh, in between each line because each line already has a return character on it and uh and this is going to put another one there so that's why it's double spaced anyway so um I, I should remember that when i'm processing these but all right so so that works i can read the i can read the file and i can uh, i can write it out <clears throat> okay so i guess i should um define a dictionary and i'm going to call it uh i'll be i'll just call it what they call it Di i don't like that abbreviation call it that initialize it as, at that and then i guess um show list i'm not sure i need those uh, variables yet how does this Um, you know, there's so many ways of doing this and I'm just going to, um, I'm just going to kind of go through this way, the way they, they propose to do it. Uh, so they're going to create a temp, a temporary list. This is how you initialize a temporary list. And, um, they're going to uh, read in the first I might go up and, and modify this, but uh, let's just start with this. Uh, I'm going to read in the first thing, uh, the first line. I'm just going to call it line equals um, output list input list i'm calling it input list uh of index and um and i want to strip off the last uh backslash so i guess i do it this way because there's going to be a return at the end of that line so that's going to take that line off so so now I've got, let's say it's the first one. Uh, the first one is going to be twenty. So now, so now this is twenty, and it's not it's not twenty carriage return. It's just twenty because I took off the carriage return. That's what that is. Uh, and then I'm going to do um, uh, that's that's a number, and I'm going to check now if. If the and I'm not going to bother checking if this is an integer or not. Uh, I, I'm just going to assume that the, it's formatted correctly. So then I got to see if this is in the dictionary. If um, I guess if line is in my dictionary. Um, then um then i want to append okay um my dictionary is going to be does it say what Well, I'm going to make my dictionary be uh, the elements in my dictionary be um, uh, lists. Yeah, the, the element, the element, the elements, the values in this dictionary 
are going to be lists and the lists the lists will be uh names of the movies so um <clears throat> so that means my dictionary uh uh of of line that is a list and so i want to append that uh, append onto that list uh the name of the movie so that oh and and that's the next that's the next thing that's coming so i gotta so i gotta get that um <clears throat> and so i'm gonna uh make this go in multiples of two okay so the zeroth one is gonna be the, the zeroth one is going to be the number and the so that's that's going to be so i'm not going to call it line i'm going to call it uh uh years i'm going to call it years the first one is years so if years is in my dictionary then my them then append and what i'm going to append is i'm going to append movie and movie is going to be uh, input list bracket index plus one it's going to be the next one uh strip and get rid of that new line character okay so comes in all years is the first one movies the second one and if years is in my dictionary then it's a list <laughs> if uh if years is not in the dictionary then i'm going to add it to, to the dictionary uh and i guess maybe that's what this temp list is for huh temp list temp list uh append movie And then um, my dictionary of years equals templist. There we go. And it's going to keep on looping through all the movies until uh, it's done. Uh, then what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to sort something? uh okay so now that that's done i'm going to uh so i have this dictionary um what happens if i just print out the dictionary i'm going to see what that does i'm going to see what this does right now save and i'm going to run it I'm going to run it and the input is going to be oh the, yeah the input file is there okay so i'm just going to run this oh uh file one.txt yeah. hmm so nothing got added to the dictionary where is it So let me print this out right here. Print years, comma, movie. Am I typing in the, the, the right name, file name? File1.txt. Um,
that's really interesting. That's not it is. File one dot txt has got ninety. Um, what time is it? Oh, it's getting late. Uh, let's see. Can you see anything wrong? I do see anything. Uh, let me um see. It's it. It's weird that it doesn't print. It doesn't print anything. It doesn't. This thing doesn't loop. Use your file. I started my range with zero. That might not matter. Zero comma. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, because I have this there, uh, because I want to do increment of the two, yeah, then I got to put a, I got to put zero. That's yes, yes, yes. That's I would, I'm sure that, I'm sure that's what, because it's not, it's not outputting anything. So, okay, let's see what this does. Oh, no, I'm It still didn't do anything. Did I not save it? I don't think I saved it. Uh, I'm gonna um, save it. Okay, so this printed that out and oh, okay. And this is my dictionary. All right, my dictionary looks good, doesn't it? Gun smoke, law and order are 20. Yes. Uh, Simpsons is 30. Yes. Will and Grace is 10. Okay, very good. So now when I run what I have here, you see I have a dictionary that's ready to go. And now all that has to do is it's, is, uh, uh, sorted, uh, um, sorting it, and uh, then you have to output two files, this file and this file. And so I can leave that uh, for you guys. It's late. All right, so um, I hope this helps. And so I'm gonna be doing, yeah, so I'll see you next uh, Thursday at this time. Thanks, Dr. Right. Yep, thank you, take care.